Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Basement Bro Sports Podcast. I am your host, Ethan. And I'm your host, Elijah. And we are back. You know what I'm saying NFL season started. We got the whole crew with us. Uh, Elijah, how you doing, man? How you feeling about this NFL season? Um, so far, so good, so interesting. You know, there's a lot of great things going on, a lot of mid things going on, uh, headlines everywhere. Um, I love it. I love it. That's what's up. That's what's up. How's it going for you, buddy? Hey, man, I've seen you two and oh, so. Can't hey, really complain too much. It's lovely over here. Hey, it's it's good over here. It's good over here. But um, as usual, you know we got we got SWAT in the building. Hey, hey guys, I don't. I don't, <laughs> don't hate, bro. Come on, don't hate. It's um, alright, bro. And and we got a we got a special guest in the building, yes, friend sir. of the show. Yes, sir. Hello, Commanders fan. Yes, sir. We got my boy Mike in the building, bro. How you doing? Know. You already come on, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh God. Yo, it's another building. We ready. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get to our team later, but let's let's crazy. Go. Um, act like y'all been here before, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey bro, it's been twelve years, bro. I don't talk to over two teams. I don't talk to over two teams. Let's let's keep going. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> boo boo. He's crazy. All right. We, we, think, we need to get there now. <laughs> we can't have this going on any further. Yeah, I got to crush their hopes and dreams quick. Yo, you was crazy. You a <laughs> hater, bro. Uh, Why, we wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, nah. Let's 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 get into the let's get into the order, boys. Let's there we go. All right. Before we get into that, uh, want to say that you know we recorded last week, but um, due to technical difficulties, um, we had to make that episode zero. So you know, this is officially episode one. Yeah. And uh, we're proud to to say that we're partnering with the Hot New Hot Nerd Network. HNN. Um, shout out to Sydney and her family over there for and having us. And we excited to be here, man. We ready to work. Yeah, um, I'm excited. Right, well, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get into it. The Niners and the Cowboys, two and zero, but very impressive two and zero, dominating opponents. Cowboys beat the Giants and the Jets. The Niners beat the Steelers. And the Rams. Um, the Eagles arch enemies. Both teams. Eagles arch enemies. Yeah, yeah you can say that. Um, Niners, Cowboys. Uh, or you can say any other team if you felt like those aren't the best teams in the NFL. But who is right now the best team in the NFL? I'm going to start with you, Mike. What you think? Oh, okay. It's an honor. Um, I'm going to go with the 49ers, <laughs> to be very honest with you. Uh, but before I go into the 49ers, it's definitely not the Cowboys because they have not played any competition for one. Oh, wow. and we go through <laughs> this, we go through this every single year. You know, as a wise man once said, Stephen A. Smith, "What can go wrong will go wrong." At the end of the day, they do this every year. I'm not going to get. We got to stop letting these people, this this team, trick us. Okay, they got a talented team. They got the players. The coach is kind of shaky in mid, but it's like, yes, they should be the best team in the NFL, but they got to – they have to prove that to me. So until proven otherwise, I'm going with the Niners. Now, with the Niners, yeah, bro, they stacked at every position. Like McCaffrey, Debo, Ayuk. I mean, they're, they're really getting it done. And the only thing that's really been kind of hampering them for the past couple of years – has been injuries at the quarterback position, unfortunately. But I think Brock Purdy has been, you know, I think he's going to be really healthy this year. I'm expecting huge things from him this year as well, uh, considering the fact that he just came in last year in the middle of the season or whatever, uh, you know, and, like, he had a full training camp, albeit through injury, but now he's, like, legit the QB1. He's been doing pretty good so far. So um, I'm going to definitely go with the Niners for sure. All right, what do you think, Elijah? Um, I'm gonna go Niners. Um, for I'd say many of the reasons, many of the reasons Mike chose. I think. I mean, the Cowboys are really good, though. I don't know. I I don't I don't necessarily agree that they haven't played anybody. I mean, they played who they played, but it's the way they beat them. They ain't just beat them. <laughs> they, 
they I mean the Jets, the Jets game, the Jets game, I think the Jets probably, you know, if the Jets have a a real quarterback, I think it would probably would have been a game. But um yeah, I I I just think I just think the Niners are just better. Or maybe in my heart I want them to be better. I don't know. I don't know. I just like I, I trust Brock Purdy more. Brock Purdy hasn't lost a game, ex, you know, except for Tom Hughes injured. He literally we have nothing. We've seen Dak have bad games. We've seen Dak throw the ball or turn the ball over. We just haven't seen it from Brock Purdy. So yeah, just going off of what I've seen from the two teams, when the fact is when Brock Purdy's in the game, they win. So I mean, I, I, you got to go with the 49ers. All right. What you think, Swat? I'm gonna go Cowboys. <laughs> like, bro, I like. think they're the best team. Just like what Eli, he hit it right on the head. It's not about who they played; it's about how they beat them. Like, of course, you're supposed to beat the teams you're supposed to beat, but they beat them. Like, it wasn't no like the the Rams 49ers game. That was a close game. They was struggling with the Rams, and that's the team you're supposed to beat. For three quarters, they was it was neck and neck. The, okay. I think the Rams are a little bit better than people would think they are. They are definitely way better yeah, than they people think they are. Yeah, okay, I think they're supposed to beat them. Yeah. And just like we said, like the, the Giants, look at them. What? The Giants are what? They're the Giants trash. Are what? <laughs> they're trash. They're not good. Why they, they trash? Don't... No, no, no. Why they trash? If you think if, – if you really believe in Daniel Jones, then – I have to question your football knowledge. The Giants, he's not that good. He's not that good. I got him. I'm about to to lawyer him right quick. I'm going to let you know this. From a general manager's perspective, right, when you look at the Uh makeup of their team, they're tying a lot of their cap between Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley, Uh a lot of talent. He can't stay on the field. As you can see, he's out for the next three weeks. That's always been an issue. We talk about the first two weeks. Huh? We're talking about the first two weeks. We're talking about the first two weeks. I'm I talking know. about the three I, weeks. You're talking about they trash in the future? I, 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 We're talking about future trash. We're talking about trash no, in the past no, no. two weeks. I'm giving, I'm giving you background into, as to say with Saquon, even prior to the first two weeks, he's always had injury concerns. I'm just letting you yeah. know the Cowboys, they were supposed to beat the Giants. Like, and, and the Giants are actually, like, really trash. Like, I wasn't even expecting that to be a game. I wasn't surprised. Now, whereas mm-hmm. the Rams... Like the Rams are better than the Giants, so the 49ers actually beating the not not necessarily beating the Rams like the Cowboys did the Giants. I'm not gonna fault them for not doing that. The Giants are just literally ass. That, you're basically what, the Rams. So 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 so, so the Giants, right? They yeah. beat the Cardinals. Y'all beat the Cardinals. Yes. In, in the same kind of fashion, too. I might. No, add. we didn't. They yes, didn't. it was the same they kind didn't. of fashion. They was both close games, and they came at both the teams came back at the end. They nah, know. we wasn't down. To, we wasn't down no zero to twenty, bro. It don't matter how much you was down by y'all. Both struggled with the same team, and now you calling one team ass. Call it a struggle, both, but not the struggle. Allowed them to score sixteen points. Sixteen points. That's it. How is I'm that sorry. the same fashion? I'm sorry. It, because the same, for th- three quarters, it, it was not. It was a close game with the Cardinals, who are trying to lose. No, the Cardinals so, were whooping them. Close game with the Giants for three quarters. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a close game. It wasn't. I, who won? Who won? They came back, but you can't they say it was a close to, game. They had to come back. back. Y'all came back. That's my From point. down four against, points <laughs> compared against, to 20. Against the what? Against the what? Against the what? What are the Cardinals? A trash team? Is that what you're trying to say? Bro. Trash team, but it's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> not the same. I mean, yeah, we didn't have to right. dig out of both struggled against the same team, and now you're sitting here because you're two and no calling that same team trash. Okay, I'm gonna ask you this: no Did the Cardinals They're both trash? Then did the Cardinals struggle against us scoring, scoring wise? Did they struggle scoring against us? Did they? Did yes. they? Yes. Okay, yes. then did they struggle against the Giants? No, thank you. Like, there's literally nothing to talk about. Same bro. result. All right, what I are think, you talking about? Y'all both struggled against the same team. You're talking about think, offense, defense. It, it's the whole game. So y'all I don't think struggled and y'all both barely won. I don't. Th- I can't say semantics. That, yeah, semantics. So so far, so far, if I had to pick after two Honestly. weeks, I personally think the Commanders are a better team than the Giants. I ain't gonna lie. Seriously, let's let's hey, hey let's let's keep it let's keep it to Niners Cowboys let's keep it to Niners Cowboys. Wales, I'm just saying the Cowboys beat up on teams, and you talking about they beat up on the Giants, and the Giants beat the team that y'all beat in the same fashion. That's all I'm saying. You can say that they suck. To that point, 
to that point, I will I say the a lot of flack that a lot of flack that the Eagles caught last year was that we didn't play nobody, but we destroyed the t- the teams that we played. And I think there is something to really good teams are supposed to destroy bad teams. Like there it's not are. supposed to be close. Like we you know, we I, are we are a level above you. We are here to compete for something else. Exactly. Like at the end of the day, this is still NFL team, and sometimes bad teams. If you're if your team is not serious, you can lose to a bad team. I mean, even good teams can lose to a bad team, but like it's more likely that if your team isn't elite, you can lose to mid to bad teams. And the yeah. fact that the Cowboys are demolishing these teams, they're supposed to do that. You know what I mean? So and it's really hard to these are grown men out here playing football. I'm gonna tell you this. zero is really hard to do. And I'm gonna tell you this: since entering the NFL in 2016, Dak Prescott is 22 and 25 against teams that finished the season with a winning record. Good if that bad. doesn't tell you something, if All that right. doesn't tell you something, but look, the the question the question was the who is the best team right? Oh now. yeah, the best team. So and that's why I'm right saying. now yeah, it's the it's Cowboys. <laughs> No, I think right it's now the it's the Cowboys. I the Cowboys. Oh, it yeah. Is. Because look, look, they're beat, they're outscoring teams 70 to what 10? That's how y'all get tricked. That's how y'all get tricked. Well, it's yeah, not no, no, we're not talking. I'm not talking about longevity. Who's gonna be the best team when we go to the playoffs? That's a different question. But right now, it's the Cowboys. They've been dominating their opponents crazy. I don't think that's, I think, I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair to you. Because how's it not fair? Because I think the Rams, I think the Rams have a better offense than the two teams that the Cowboys played. I think, I think yes. if the Cowboys played the Rams, they would have beat. No, they the wouldn't city. have. No, oh, I mean, y'all, no, listen, no, no, stop no, this. Listen, stop listen, 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 listen. I'm not you saying. You don't think the Cowboys are whooping the Rams the same way no, the four times? Forty to zero? <laughs> no, 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 I don't. Think I'm not saying forty to zero. I'm saying they're beating the night. They're beating. The Rams the same way the Niners beat the Rams. Like, right. so, I think so why a, are we I talking about competition? I think we can argue it's a wash. I think we can argue it's a wash. I think, but I just, I think, so if we had to go off of these first two games, I think it's a wash. They both are were impressive two weeks. Like, you know, but I think, I think I'm going off of the history of the quarter. I'm going off the history. Yeah. Is that. The truth is, Brock Purdy hasn't lost the game. When he, if he's completed a game, he hasn't lost. Like he hasn't. He hasn't thrown picks. He hasn't. He, the ugliest game he actually played was against the Cowboys. Ironically, it's the ugliest game, and he beat them. And he beat them. So and he beat them. You know, and that was a game that played really bad too. So like, I don't know. Like, I just think right now. I mean, they're gonna play. So we're gonna see. Three five, and we're yeah. gonna see it. They're gonna play pretty soon, so I mean we're gonna see it. But I, I just had to, if I had to pick, I think I'd give the edge to. And another thing is, if you go, if we go down, we are right, we can do this. We can go down uh, position by position. Like it doesn't do this. anything. But sometimes it's it can't. Team, bro. Yeah. It's a, huh? No, but I'm not position group. I position group. Yeah, Still that don't matter, bro. That's the makeup. As a, and I, as a, and I, and I, as a Patriots fan, and, and I honestly, I don't think you, I don't think the Niners are going to win this. <laughs> I don't uh, know if the Niners win this. I think the Niners do win this. I think they do. I, I don't think they. I don't I, know. I think if they the do. Niners have a better the 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 uh. I think the Niners obviously the the Cowboys have the best defensive player. But I think overall on the defensive side of the ball, I'd give the edge to the Niners. Yeah. Okay. The Niners are solid all around. Mm-hmm. The Niners have Christian, the Niners have arguably the best running back in the league. To be honest. Okay. We I think the what the Niner has better skill position players. Yes. Okay. The Niners, I mean, and and, and mm-hmm. you know, you can give I'd give the edge to Dak Pres, Dak Prescott, obviously. But again, that's only because that I Purdy was the last pick in the draft. If Purdy was an early first round pick, we're saying that Purdy's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Eli, can I can I stop you in your track? Can I stop you in your track? Go ahead. Eagles, Chiefs, Super Bowl. Let's do position groups. Y'all would say I have more position groups better than the Chiefs, right? No, no. But the reason why that's different is because you didn't let me finish. No, 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 no. But you you didn't let me finish. I was the last one I was going to do was coaching, and and I think coaching. I was going to say coaching. I think weighs heavier than the other groups. Coaching weighs heavier than the other groups, and you can't say that you don't think that McCarthy's a better coach than uh, Shanahan. No, I think that's a wash. 
Okay, but if it's a wash, then the players start to matter. Okay. That's what I'm saying. The the, the example see. you the example you were about to use, I think Andy Reid is a way better coach than Nick Sirianni. Wait. I don't even think it's close. So yeah. I think their coaching staff had us beat. So that's what that's what that's what equaled out the game. That's why they were able to beat us. I don't think I don't think that coaching wise, I don't think the their leaps and I I would agree. I think it's a wash. I think they have a good coaching staff, but I just think the Niners have a have better players overall. Obviously, I think the Cowboys have the best player though. So I I think it's a close. We gonna see. We it's close. I'm not saying it's better. But if I had to pick, I'm going Niners. Yeah, but that, that when I said Cowboys, it got all crazy in here. I ain't say nothing. <laughs> Because it's like this is my thing, and I'm a, and I'm gonna edit off. He's a Commanders fan. He, he's gonna, you know, it's going. It's always going. I know you. I picked yeah, them. I mean, it hurt me a little bit when you said Cowboys too. We just don't like the Cowboys, bro. I mean, I hate the Cowboys. I hate the Cowboys, but I'm. I gotta it's be hard, real. Hard to I gotta be real. I'm just sick and tired of calling the team the best team, such okay. as the Cowboys, because they will do this every year. We say they're the best team in the league, and then turns out when they place. That's good. They lose, so yeah. it's kind of yeah. like, how long are we going to continue saying, okay, we one week two, yes, the Cowboys are the best team, and then later, like at a point, when are we going to hold this team accountable? And you know what? You got to prove that to me. You don't earn that title of being the best team because you haven't, like, you just haven't proved it to me. Yeah. Off of past history, not even future, just past history. That's where I'm coming from with this. But that's you know. one. Right. That's one like ten to thirteen games, like almost every year. Every year since Dak's been a quarterback, they've won. Like it's only been like one or two years they haven't won that many games. They win pretty. They win like about thirteen games, like almost every year. But a losing record against winning teams. Yeah. So all right. So are y'all are, 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 are admitting that their history is like kind of by <laughs> giving y'all a little bias to y'all saying that it's the Niners instead of the Cowboys because that's what it sounded that's, like. That's exactly what I told you. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. What I said. It's, I mean, yeah. that's all you can go. I mean, bias aside, I think with I think two weeks, <laughs> yeah, but you're saying it like it's you. I'm not I, saying it's, I'm not saying they're way y'all, better. Y'all are framing the question differently. He, it, I'm he saying right now, right now, like <laughs> we've we've played two games, two, 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 two weeks, weeks like, the best team right now. Like, oh my god, and, and I'm saying in two, in two weeks, to me, it's been a wash. I think. I think they okay. blew out, they blew out their first week team and they played a better team than the than the Cowboys played the, the second week. They okay. played Zach Wilson. I mean, so I think it's a wash. That's what I'm saying. So that's why I say I can only go off of last year because it's a wash. Okay. Yeah. But you gotta pick. You can't you can't say it. I can't just say it's a wash. I gotta go off of something. You gotta pick you, something. <laughs> All right. Fan corner. Let's go, Let's go Elijah. I played Thursday night. We going in order of who played. So Thursday night, Philadelphia Eagles. Let's go crazy. The birds, baby. It's time to talk birds. Woo! I can't wait. I mean, you know, obviously the fans, obviously the fans weren't able to see the first week. And, you know, we were talking about the game. This was on Thursday, right before we played the Vikings. You know, everybody, everybody on the, you know, they thought we would win. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I thought we would win, but you know, I never like to be like we gonna win, you know, unless it's like the Super Bowl or something. But I, you know, I thought, I thought we played. Uh, I'm not, I wasn't too impressed with the way we played. Um, I'm still very concerned. I have very concerns, uh, a lot of concerns after the first two weeks. Um, the offensive coordinator stuff is a little. I don't know. I don't. I don't really trust his play calling. Um, his ability to get. Uh, our most important players like into the games. Um, I don't trust, I don't really like this uh, run pass option. I think we have enough players that we can play a different style of offense because um, defenses are showing us different looks and they're confusing Jalen. And sometimes he's holding the ball where he needs to pass it off to the running back. Um, so those are the negatives. I mean, and then the defense, the defense is just, you can score on us. Like it, it's just, we need to talk about that. Yeah. yeah. Teams we, can score on us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I still think our pass rush leaves must be desired, but I think our pass rush can get there. I think Jalen Jalen Carter just needs a little bit more touches. But uh Jordan Davis is getting better every week. Like he's oh, yeah, getting sure. he's getting better. Pass rush is getting better. Our backs like a lot of Avante Maddox just got injured. He's supposed to be out for the season. 
So we just we're just met, dealing with a lot of injuries. Um, the defensive scheme is a little meh, but it was a little meh last year. Um, the offense is what I'm mainly concerned about because going into this year, I knew the defense would be a little shaky because we lost players. But the issue is, I like I my thing. The reason why I was confident is was I thought that we could score with anybody, and so far we've been able to score with the two teams we played. But I need us to look better on offense because we're supposed to be able to score with anybody just because of personnel. You know what I mean? We just have a crazy offensive personnel, and I think we can score anybody. So um, switching up the defense, I would prefer we go to maybe more of a West Coast style offense as opposed to sticking to the RPOs. I think because we had success with it last year, we're trying to stick to it and do that as much as possible. But, you know, overall, we still won. Swift ran for 175 yards, yeah. which is insane. Uh, we should have started him week one, and that stuff like that kind of worries me too. That we kind of like to do the seniority thing instead of picking the best players to start. Um, the Eagles like to stick with, and then our special teams. That's another thing. Our special teams is very concerning. But I've been seeing special teams be a concern for teams around the league. I don't know what's yeah, going on with special teams. It's like. People have been returning a lot of stuff lately on special teams. I don't know what's going on, but our, our special teams is weak, and that's one of the things that, like, helped us lose the Super Bowl. So, I mean, that's my Eagles spiel. Uh, next week we're supposed to play the Buccaneers. They've been looking good. Baker been looking like him, his old self a little bit, but I think we get the win, and we're 3-0 at the end of next week. 3-0. That's my fan nice. corner. Fan corner, man. All right. Next, we have the Washington Commanders, the world's favorite team. All right, Mike. Uh, I'm, I, I y'all, know, y'all was silent for me, but I ain't going to be silent for y'all. Huh? I'll let you do your thing. You, know what I'm you said everything that I was going to say. Hey, so, uh, um, Mike, I'll let you do the honors. Go ahead. To, to be very honest, you know, it's, it's a good day to be a Commanders fan. Um, <laughs> it's a very, very good day. And before y'all even talk, I'm about to preach the gospel on y'all because y'all, <laughs> what, what y'all, what y'all are gonna do, what y'all are gonna do is, is oh, y'all haven't been here before, or oh, y'all haven't seen a Super Bowl in y'all lifetime. Like, nah, we're in 2023 <laughs> now, bro. Let's forget about the past, bro. Tom Brady is gone. Sorry, uh, oh. y'all lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> Sorry, like, stop. So let me just get that out the way first. Number one, Ethan. We have found ourselves a franchise quarterback. <laughs> Simple. That's number one. That is number one. Who we are we? Found ourselves a franchise quarterback. That dude in the nice. Pocket, He's actually he nice though. His head, bro. He's not Jalen Hurts. That man doesn't. Oh, if I can't, if I don't, if I reach, I run. Because let's be real. Against the bike, against the Vikings, the <laughs> offense stalled, and he was looking dumb. Okay. Uh, Matt Jones, for example, bro, please don't get me started with Matt Jones, bro. You know, get get started. Right. We can pull up the numbers. We can pull up the numbers. Your coach, bro, Mike, we just be talking about fake. Right, no, 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 Matt Jones was better than Fam Mike. Mike, we just be talking about two teams. Hey, Ethan, hey, Ethan, they was ready. They're ready, bro. And I'm still not it. All right, all right, all right. They was ready, but this is fan. Hey, let them hate, bro. Go ahead, hey, let them hate. Let them hate. Go ahead, go crazy, bro. Put on, bro. Put on, put on for the, bro. Put on for the commanders, bro. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on for the commanders. I'm gonna let them hate. What I like, I like our defense. Yes, against the Cardinals, we struggled a little bit. It was the first game, kind of first game jitters or whatever. Denver Broncos, I was very scared. I'm not going to cap. But what we did to come back, that showed that we're battle tested. That showed me like, dang, like we really dropped. We literally hung 35. Like, and we haven't done that in a break. Haven't done that in a minute. Yeah, and, in a minute. Like, it's just the fact that, you know, as you know, like last year with Scott Turner, I feel like the difference between this offense uh, with Scott Turner as opposed to Eric Bieniemy is night and day. I feel like Bieniemy gives us a different look. Teams respect us more, and we actually can utilize our talent because we do have a lot of talent. We're pretty respected around the league when it comes to the players on our team: Terry, Jahan, Ryan Robinson. People respect these players, even Curtis Samuel. So I feel like this is a sign of things to come. I feel like as Sam Howell gets more comfortable and this offense gets more comfortable with Eric Bieniemy. I feel I'm not I'm not gonna cap. Like 
I really think like we're going to see some great things from this team. So I'm pretty excited. That's it. That's yeah, it, bro. Do I know, baby? That's yes, right. having it 12 years. So let us enjoy this. Y'all can hate, but let us enjoy hate. this. We can lose can the hate. next three games. Just let us enjoy this hate. one. You feel me? It's, 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 I, I look at the schedule. It's actually very possible. It's All right. very possible. And it's yes, very I possible. Know Eagles. Um, who y'all play, play next? Bills, Bills, Eagles. We can beat the Bears. Um, Bills, Eagles, but, Bears. Yeah, Bill, you can beat the, we can beat the Bears. Yes. Um, but yeah, right now, um, I was very unsure about this team last week when we played the Cardinals. I was like, you know, this is, we just got a new owner, mm -hmm. sold out stadium. There's a lot of things going on. So, you know, we play in the Cardinals. We look bad. That, that makes sense. But then we weigh them out 21 3. We was losing 21 3 to the Broncos. I was like, this might be the same team as last year. It's going to be, it's going to be a bad year. But they showed me something. They actually came back in Denver with the altitude, with, with all those fans going crazy a mile high. They actually show resilience, and that's something that we haven't done in a long time. Last year's team, we would have probably laid, rolled over and lost a game like that. So, you know, this team is resilient. Sam Howe looks very good. Um, I still want to see some more games. I'm not ready to say that he's the guy, you know, because I'm, you know, it's, a, it's, it's been Washington, bro. It's been, it's been a lot of quarterbacks. So Respect, respect. respect. But Sam Howell is very good. Very, very, very happy with what I've been saying. And uh, so yeah. it's looking it's just looking like sunny days right now in Washington. You feel me? It's looking like sunny days so, right now. So from now on, from now on, when we do these fan corners, <laughs> we gotta have a hater circle because <laughs> afterwards we're gonna let y'all get y'all stuff off. <laughs> and I ain't gonna be hating on y'all teams, bro. <laughs> unless y'all deserve it. Because <laughs> I mean, listen, I agree with a lot of things y'all say. I've looked over the games y'all played. Sam Howe does look better than your quarterbacks last year. He looks better than your quarterbacks last year for sure. He looks looks much better than Heineke. He looks better, way better than Carson Wentz. Way better than Carson. But, but, I think y'all need to pump the brakes a little bit. <laughs> Just pump the brakes a little bit. What do we say? Y'all played the first week in the first week of the season. Y'all played the Arizona Cardinals, which okay. I, will, I will admit the Cardinals have been looking kind of feisty. I don't know, like I don't know if the Cardinals are good or if you y'all and the Giants uh, are bad. They're not good, bro. Y'all, so, the going Cardinals going. are not good, bro. But y'all made both y'all made the Cardinals look serviceable, and they have Dobbs starting as their quarterback. So I don't know what that says about y'all your teams, but. And then the Broncos, I mean, the Broncos. They were favored, they the were Broncos, favored against them. You said they were favored. They were favored against them. They were favored them. by a lot, actually. Let me give you a hint. Almost every team y'all play will be favored against y'all. It's just, that's what it's okay. going to be, bro. I mean, did, I mean, you want me to lie? That's what it's going to be. The only team that won't be favored for y'all is probably going to be maybe the Bears. But every team, almost every team on your schedule is going to be favored against y'all. It's just okay. It I feel it. So, so, I mean, I'm saying y'all did get away with a win. I can't take away from y'all two and no, but pump the brakes a little bit, buddy. You was what did we about, say? You was going to, Mike compared, he, he tried to down, he tried to down Mac Jones. He tried down Jalen Hurts. And I will. your quarterback is <laughs> out. So just pump the brakes, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just. Just settle down. My quarterback went. To, my quarterback was second to MVP and went to Super Bowl last year. Squatty quarterback, his rookie season went to the Pro Bowl. Let's see what your guy does. Let's just see. Let's okay. see what your guy does. Before a you lot of people Bowl. didn't deserve to go to the Pro Bowl last year, but we're let's not talk about that. It's okay. I'm just saying. Let's just see what your. Let, let's Man, see what they pull land. up the numbers. Let's, what? You know, you I'm know not what I'm saying? at all. <laughs> let's, let's see if your guy is even an alternate. Let's see if your guy is the alternate for the because that's how Mac Jones got in, right? He was an alternate. Yeah, that's true. Let's, mm -hmm. let's see if your guy's in the running for alternate before we. we, we All right, cool. All right, but you know, Sam, you look good, boy. Y'all, <laughs> you going? All right. Don't let you niggas. Don't let nobody tell you hey, otherwise. Hey, man, what you got to say? Zero and two. All right, hey. New England hey, Patriots. Order? New England Patriots fan corner ISO. ISO, why he, uh, why he in my corner? <laughs> why he in my corner? <laughs> uh, 0 2. Not worried at all. 
one bit. <laughs> you play the Eagles and you play the Dolphins. We both know that these are two of the better teams in the league. And the two has got our number. Mike McDaniel's got our number. So I'd just be happy if we could split with them. Them and the Bills. If we could split with them, that's fine. If we can go three and three in the division, that's fine. I looked at our schedule. We played a just this week. If we lose, then yeah, then I'm worried. Then I'm worried because after that we play the Cowboys. Hmm. I think we we've been competitive. Like I think we're gonna beat the Cowboys. Right, I've been competitive. That's, that's what I'm saying. So like we played the Eagles one possession game. We beat ourselves. Do mm-hmm. what we went down in the hole 16 up 16 to zero. Came back. Dolphins same thing. Came back. We're fighting, but we keep shooting ourselves in the foot. We're we got a new offensive coordinator. A bunch of rookies playing. So it's like we're a young team now. We like you said, Tom Brady ain't here no more. We're a younger team. So we're 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 that two thousands oh one Patriots. We're not contenders right now. We're just trying to build it's a building block season. Like the season Eli that y'all had uh went to the playoffs with Jalen Hurts and y'all got beat by the Bucks. That was a building block season. You you gotta you gotta build up to stuff. So we get the rookies acclimated, like Christian Gonzalez, he looking like a shutdown corner. Yeah, he's he did his thing. So we got Jabril Peppers and all them back there. Kyle Duggar. We got young safeties. Devin McCourty ain't there no more. We getting younger. We getting faster on defense. Defense look good. Like we hold Eagles to twenty five points. Well, actually, we held y'all to less than that because y'all had a pick six. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. We held y'all to under twenty. How much the Dolphins score? What was it? Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah, y'all. Are, that's what I'm saying. Our defense look good. Our offense is shooting themselves in the foot. Uh, we finally got offense coordinator. The offense looked good. I don't care what you're saying about Mac Jones. He looked good too. <laughs> uh, he's what 16 yards. He got touchdowns. He's doing his thing. Uh, like, he just starts off. Starts off. They have been starting slow though. Yeah. yeah that's not it's, it. it's not. Yeah. Yeah. We starting slow. Oh, uh, y'all yeah, start but slow. No, that's not it. Offensively, start slow too. It's not. Yeah, we, I don't. I don't want to say starting slow because yeah. I feel like that's the wrong word. Because if y'all driving, play, no, we were no, listen. We were uh, driving on y'all. And we threw a pick. It's the turnovers. At yeah, it's not, we're not we're not starting slow. We're driving. We're moving the ball. The football's on the other side of the field. High pass off Kendrick Bourne's hands in the Darius Slay pick six. And they're trying to that's, that's, it's a seventy four yard pick six. That means we was what on your thirty. That's what I'm saying. We was about to score, but it's like we're shooting ourselves in the foot. It was a seventy four yard return. So I mean, I'm just saying. I'm saying y'all. And then Zeke, and then Zeke fumbles. And then y'all go yeah, score again. I ain't turning the ball over in the second half. That's a slow start. Huh? I said y'all ain't turning the ball over the whole game. The second half, y'all cleaning it up. That's a slow start. I don't know. If you, I, I don't. We, I'm we, 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 it was 14 to 16 at halftime. You're still, I'm saying you're still starting slow. You're still starting the game off. Even if you turn the ball over in the first half, that's. It's still a slow start. I get what back. you're trying to say, but I don't call it starting slow because the offense is moving the ball. It's not starting slow. We're, we're, you guys have- stuff is what? firing on all cylinders. It's just shoot ourselves in the foot. Demario Douglas fumbles from behind. Yeah. Now, now the drive is over. It's not starting yeah. I slow. Thought it's, I it's, thought y'all could have won that game. It's two things that have plagued our whole season so far and last season: injuries, turnovers, and people like like to say Bill Belichick can't draft. Bill Belichick is a terrible GM. I want you to find a team that loses three of his top four corners and still has cornerback depth. I want you to find one. Ain't no team. You lose Jack Jones, you lose Jonathan Jones, and you lose uh, uh, Marcus Jones. All the Joneses, they gone. <laughs> like, Damn. those are, and all we had was Christian Gonzalez and Miles Bryant. I don't know if you ever heard me talk about Miles Bryant, but I don't know why he's in the league. Mm. Like I, he he just I mean he makes play he like a up high and cold player it's just like I don't know I just don't want him around like he shouldn't be starting where like the other Joneses should be out there and offensive line we played jaw Eli we couldn't run the ball at all our two guards were injured and out they came back and they were they just came back from injury now our two tackles was gone what are we supposed to do bro like. The fact that we're still competitive in these games gives me hope. That's why I'm not too worried about being 0-2. It's two good teams. If we'd have lost to the, the, the Cardinals and the uh, Texans, I'd have been like, damn. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's it's, 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 it's the schedule we was dealt. I, 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 I looked at our schedule. I think we have a path to get to 3-3. Three and, three, and then we'll, you know, yeah, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. 
Oh, definitely. I mean, it's still early. It's like, y'all season's yeah. not over. Two weeks. So. Yeah. Just All right. Uh, do y'all beat the Jets? I don't know. Y- yes. Are you asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, it's your team. It's fan court. Yes. I don't. Why, 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 why would we lose to the Jets? Question it? I don't. Is Zach Wilson playing? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm hey this is fan corner. I'm asking you prediction for next week. You think you beating oh, the Jets? Yeah. Yes, cool. All right, Mike. Exactly. Are we beating the Bills? Huh? All right, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my fan head ass off and actually really be real. I feel like we have the potential to beat them, but am I scared out of my mind? Yes. Oh, okay. Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, Austin Knox. So. Yeah, are we going to beat them? I don't know. I will say no. Well, am I willing to bet on it? No, I'm not willing to I ain't going to lie. They, they look good last week. I mean, they look horrible yeah. the first week, but last week they I look feel like, amazing. I feel like they came back to their senses. I feel like Josh, because he can make every throw. Any throw. I got it. I, I got to hate again. Here I come. Uh, They play the Raiders, right? Week two? Yeah, the Raiders suck. <laughs> I watched yeah, that game. Man. The Raiders were It's a level trash. of competition that we got to talk about, bro. Like, <laughs> right, yeah, this, you was the, you was just the person talking about you. Look, you play who on your schedule. They that's beat, true. They look good. <laughs> yeah, they look good. And Ethan, you two know, could be mean, true. Two know. things could be true. I said that when you play who's on your schedule, and I also said we played a higher level competition on our schedule, right? Eagles and Dolphins are better teams than. Right, they are better teams. Up. That's what I'm saying. I also said we also talked about the Cardinals and the Giants, right? Yeah. You play who's on your schedule, yeah. but sometimes they suck and sometimes they're good. So you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, but like, what, like we were saying, I mean, uh, again, that doesn't, that doesn't make you just like you said, the Cowboys, you're supposed yeah. to beat up who you're supposed to beat up. And the yeah. Bills did just that. But I don't think we should get carried away talking about they're world beaters now. Cause nah, let's, go that that week, let's go back to that week. Let's go back to that week one. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They played a very good just defense and Raiders buddy, defense. Threw three picks right to the same player. Bro, and that's so like, the Rams, He's Raiders capable defense. of doing that against yes. us. He's literally yes. capable of doing that against us, throwing them type of picks, being stupid, fumbling, all of that That's stuff. That's all I'm saying. So, 31 to 37, bro. He's yeah. He, bro, <laughs> he on fire. He had his game break. I, wa- I watched that yeah. game, bro. The Raiders defense is horrible. It's horrible. That's all every I'm time. Saying. Every time I looked at the TV, they had the ball, bro. The offense yeah. never had it, bro. So, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I mean. I'm excited. That being said, we're not beating the Bills, but I was just. You got some good matchups. <laughs> just saying. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, y'all not gonna beat them, but yeah. it could, it might be closer than we all expect. Oh, it's yeah, gonna be the, the line is five and a half. I think it's gonna be your, your front four. Your front four getting that pressure on Josh Allen, having to force him into those dumb decisions, could could. Hey, y'all got ball hawks in the secondary. Yeah, so it's I'm like Forbes. Gonzalez, Forbes. Forbes, Forbes is nice. Yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. Forbes, yeah. you got ball hawks in the secondary. So you, you have the front four pressure. Jo- like you see what happened with the Jets. Yeah. Like, he 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 acts stupid sometimes, bro. Dude. You've seen the Joe and Stefan is like, be smart. <laughs> be smart. <Yeah. laughs> you have to your wide receiver telling the quarterback to be smart is yeah. insane, bro. He's only the smartest person on the field. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> be yeah. smart. Yeah. That's but I ain't going to hold you, though. In a scenario that we do beat them, I think a conversation needs to be had about us being Super Bowl contenders. I'm not even by the cap, bro. I'm not even by the cap. <laughs> this is not even it. No, like, yo, no, 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 like, no, yo, 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 not even crazy. yo, this is crazy. I let you, Mike. Come on, Mike, Mike, let's go. Mike, let's go, Mike. Y'all can't, y'all can't have the a man just fans. Let's go, Mike. Let's go. That's not even. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? People always make fun of the Cowboys about how Commanders fans. Yeah, come on, Cowboys. Mike. Y'all got to turn me up, Mike. Is this me being crazy though? Because yes. I don't know, like y'all are blow, y'all are blowing me, bro. Turn me up, Mike. Nah, turn me up. Let me let me give you my reasoning because y'all are saying like we're not gonna beat them. We all pretty much agree that we're probably not gonna win, right? But if we actually beat the Bills. A team that's been successful over the past five years and getting to the playoffs, being a perennial playoff team. If we're capable enough to do that, that means that we had to have seen a good game from Sam Howell. We had to have seen a good game from our defense. And I mean, like, it's kind of like, bruh, if we can do that to the Bills, then 
we could we could hang with everyone. I'm not gonna say let me let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Hang with everyone though. You so that's based on that theory. Yeah. Do you think do you think the Jets are still Super Bowl contenders? I would say no because it's just Zach Wilson. He can't play. They but didn't. you said you said if y'all were to win, that means Sam Howe would have played well. Is yeah. it? But uh, let me tell you why that's different. They played the Cowboys and they didn't hang with the Cowboys. What Mike is saying, if we can hang with the Bills, yes. and I was extended to if we can hang with if we beat y'all too, if we beat y'all and the Bills, then I wouldn't say I wouldn't say we're super. I wouldn't say we're Super Bowl contenders. But I would say I wouldn't say no, not undefeated. I'm, no, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that we will be Super Bowl contenders. But if we could beat the Bills, let's. This is hype. Truly hypothetical. If we truly. beat the Bills and the Eagles and we look good. Yeah, then we are we look serious. Right. See, yeah. people should take us serious. Y'all should be super. No, good. he's blowing me. Okay, nah, you know, I'm not saying super. Bowl. That's I'm not saying super. Bowl. I'm not saying super. Bowl. I'm not saying super. Bowl. If we if we beat the Eagles, the Bills, the Giants, we're not even saying it. Okay, so I'm gonna say this. Sam throws for 50 touchdowns. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this more likely than not, we're gonna split with y'all, right? And we're gonna split. I think we will split with the Cowboys. But just looking at the first four weeks, we'll take a couple of L's. But if we start off, but because you know, obviously, people are thinking like, oh, we played the Cardinals, we played the Broncos. You can't, you don't know how we kind of are right now. But if we come out and say, okay, we beat the Bills and we beat the Eagles in our next two weeks, and then obviously we're gonna take some L's down the road, I think, I think it's not crazy to think like hey this team actually may be serious that's all we're saying like nah, that's not what you said brother you oh, said oh, 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 contender. Bro, i'm not gonna this lie bro i'm not gonna lie bro even if y'all go for an o bro y'all know not not hey i i never said he's right, right. i just say y'all y'all gotta take us serious even crazy to say that's what i'm really trying to because we're because crazy we're it's like we're not we're not on that level bro y'all don't have ethan why don't we're not on that level line. because one is four games into the season. Your offensive line and our Your offensive line coach. isn't that good. Our head coach uh, isn't that good, and our defense isn't the Cowboys. Our defense, our defense is it's not. It's not. It's we're not. we're we're tied with them for leading sacks in the league, though. Both of us at ten. We both lead the league in sacks. I think we have a Super Bowl where if we if our quarterback plays well, oh, I got ten sacks. Yes, but we still yes. our defense still no, our right. defense still gives up three opening touchdowns. Like the Cowboys not doing that. Man, like, that's our, fair. That's fair. We do have some blown coverages at times, but I feel like it's still early in the season, and that usually and you can attest to it because we did. Where did we, where did we finish last season in defense in total defense? Two. Top ten. We finished two. No, we finished top two in total defense last year, and we still had that kind of same. Is this, problem. Is this yards or points? I, was say, I don't know if he was top 10. Um, let me look. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Man, yes. 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 Please fact check me right now. This we were rated two, bro. Mike, yes. bro. Mike, I'm, oh, I'm going to tell, tell you this. I'm going to tell you this one time, bro. I wish somebody <laughs> loved me like you love the commanders, bro. We're three. We were three. We were three. Okay, three. But we were top five. We were top five in total defense. Chase Young is coming back. I feel as if. If if our defense performs up to par, because y'all know we have a great front four and we got some ball hawks, and Sam Howell literally just – he doesn't even have to be a superstar. Just be a game manager and get the ball to your receivers. Nah, I want him to be a superstar. I mean, yeah, you know, we want him to be a superstar. <laughs> but let's literally – look at the NFC and tell me who is really going to like, oh, my gosh, they're unbeatable. The but do you understand that – do you understand that Sam Howell first two starts – were two bad teams. The Broncos are. He played the. Bad, he beat the Cowboys last year. So. And he did. And he beat the Cowboys last year. And they were playing. And they were playing for something. So you can't they say were, that it was the last they week of the season. They were playing for. Yeah, something. They were playing. They were playing for something. They I'm about were. to say you right. They were. They were playing for something. They were playing for something. I mean, okay, it's see. possible. Am I saying we're gonna win? No, I'm just saying contender status. That doesn't mean that we're gonna get to the Super Bowl. But that is a team you have to. Well, I would say we're a sneaky. Super Bowl contender. Risky, I'll say risky that. Washington Sneaky. commander. Sneaky. Better yet, it's Turn cool. me up, Mike. Mike, you, Mike, you, you, 
Yes, sir. I'm with it, bro. We go to the Super Bowl. Bro. I'm with you, Mike. I'm with you, Mike. We go to the Super Bowl. We beat the Cowboys. We beat we beat the Eagles. We beat the Bills. We go to the Super Bowl, bro. I'm with you. I'm with you. Those are some good wins. Those Turn me up, Mike. Wins, bro. Honestly, nah, like honestly, on, bro. Now we can't have we, we, All right, all right, all right. We we gotta move on. We gotta. Move. We can't talk about the we, Commanders next. We week. gotta move. Way too much Commanders stuff. <laughs> we got. That's crazy. <laughs> you see how they hate, bro. This is I crazy. Swear. I ain't say a word. I ain't say a word when Elijah oh spoke. I ain't say a God. word when Saudi spoke. This Talk about us. Bro, we got to shut down did Washington Corner. Swati, did you expect when we turn this podcast on to hear that the commanders are Super Bowl contenders? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all are on speed. We're going to, oh we going to, we going to the bowl, bro. I don't care. Yo, I'm I, with I you, mean, Mike. Same- Hey, All cut right. the tape. Cut the tape. We're gonna see. Hey, write that down. Let me see. Please. I'm gonna write that on the board. Please. Please. All right, man. We we gotta move on. We gotta move on. Um, if they beat the Bills, they win in the Super Bowl. I'm gonna write that on the board. Don't oh. forget y'all too, and then don't forget y'all too. What that we going to Super Bowl? No, 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 no. We beat the oh, Bills. Nah, and... but no, but that's not what Mike said. Mike said if we beat if we beat the <laughs> Bills, we need to beat I'm the with you, Mike. I know what you but you know what? I'm a... I, on God, stamp it. Write it down. Okay. Write it down, bro. Write it down. All right. All right, All right man. All right, let's move on. New York. They got some. They got some head scratches in New York, man. Jets and Giants. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, New Zach York Wilson. New. Uh, Zach Wilson. Daniel Jones. I mean, the Giants won, but that first half was. Mm-hmm. They went sixty. They went sixty zero, yeah. in the first six quarters of football. <laughs> um. What's up with New York? Uh, can can the Jets get back on track? Maybe. Yeah. Can the Giants get back on track? What What do y'all think? The Jets absolutely not. Nathaniel Hackett is not a good OC. He's been saved by Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is no longer there. Jets season is over. Fact. That's all I got to say about the Fact. Jets. Fact. Wow. Okay. So, I agree. Nathaniel Hackett is bad. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand flow of offense at all. He doesn't. Un- even in their game against the Bills, when when uh they're running back or well, Hall, what's Brees Hall? Yeah. When Brees Hall was going crazy, they, he kept on taking him out so he can give Cook touches. And Cook wasn't doing nothing. He kept doing it. He wouldn't just stick with the hot hand. Brees Hall was get it was getting plays by like the he was chunk yards, crazy chunk yards. And he just doesn't understand. I hate offensive play callers that don't understand like. Like, bro, these players, like, when your players hot, just go to them. Like, just go to them. Go to them until the defense prove that they can stop that person. You know what I mean? Especially with the run game. You know what I'm saying? Passing is different because you got to depend on your quarterback to make the throws. You got to have the quarterback. To but if you just, uh, like, if you have a running back that's just destroying your defense, keep going with the guy. They gave him four touches the next week. Like, he's just a bad offensive coordinator. You know, um, Giants, I think the Giants do have potential. I still think Brian Dable, I feel like regardless of how they played in the first half, second half was extremely uh, impressive, even though they played a bad team. Um, so I do think they have potential, and I do think they can beat, they can surprise some teams. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to disagree with both of you guys. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, I love it. And I'm not going to lie. I, I mean, actually, it's like I agree with some parts. Yes, the Daniel Hackett is not a good offensive coordinator. But I do believe with the Jets, they are literally – they're not necessarily stacked, but they have talent. They got dogs at every other position group but quarterback. I'm telling you right now, if they had at least a comp- some competition – And O-line. Okay, and an O-line. Okay, cool. But That's important. That's that important. important. Yes, but – I guarantee you, and Ethan, maybe you can attest to this. If they had Taylor Heineke, I think that they would be a team that you could take a little bit more serious because Taylor Heineke had a similar team to Washington when we when we took uh, Tampa Bay to the brink. Our O line wasn't that good. We had talent at receivers, and we had a good defense. Right? Yeah, you true. put it in that same situation. No O line. Yes. Okay. Not that talented. But that defense is crazy, and Taylor Heineke can make moves. Zach Wilson is the reason why the Jets are not, you know, where they're at right now. Not necessarily Nathaniel Hackett. Yes, Nathaniel Hackett is terrible, but I'm going to put, I'm going to place more of the blame on Zach Wilson. That's number one. Number two, with the New York Giants, 
Um, I don't know if you guys can tell by now, but I do not like Daniel Jones. I don't like him. He's not good to me. That Danny Dimes stuff, no. Like, I feel as he benefits off of Saquon. The Giants really should have paid Saquon all that money and not um, Daniel Jones. He's not a $40 million quarterback. Is he? I'm leaving that up. Is he? No, I agree with you. I feel like when you're a $40 million quarterback, we hold you to a higher standard. And we haven't been holding him to that high standard, bro. And it's like now Saquon's about to be out for the next three weeks. Their schedule is daunting. They play the Niners. That's a dub. They play the Dolphins. That's the that they're losing that game, bro. So it's like, where you tell me, what promise do you see from that team? They beating the Niners. Book it. Huh? <laughs> Book it. <laughs> they beating the Niners. Hey yo. Y'all say I'm crazy for saying the the the, the commanders will make. Some wait, 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 wait. Your thing was your thing was so crazy. Don't nah, try, bro. You try to put the top down. Y'all call me crazy, but he could say he could say stuff like this. Nah, nah you're right. right. You're see. I mean, I'm done. It's, 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 it's enough. Me. It's enough space for both y'all in the cycle. <laughs> you see what it's I'm saying? Like, nah, this is, this is not based on anything. This is just a feeling thing. This is just a feeling thing. I just have a feeling. But what's the feeling though? Saquon's not playing. Andrew Thomas, their left tackle, is out. So you're telling me that Daniel Jones can carry them against the Niners? That's no, what I'm you're telling me. They have no chance. They have no offensive line. They have no chance. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. No chance. So I feel as if the Jets. I think they have a better chance of figuring things out. And I say under the condition of them possibly coming to their senses and getting a QB off the street, whether that be Taylor Heineke, Carson Wentz, or even Colt McCoy. That's it, man, honestly. But the Giants are not – it's not their year. They're not going to do anything at all. I mean, it, their schedule is tough. We got a tough – we just play tough divisions, so we're going to play some tough teams. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see. Honestly. Play the AFC East. Yeah, we do. Indeed. I hey, mean, y'all are going to beat the Giants. I okay. said, we got it. We got one and oh. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, 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 kidding. I kid, I kid, I kid. He's not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's not kidding. Um, Get it how you're living, man. <laughs> all right. Um, Moving on. We got to talk about uh, quarterbacks out AFC. West and North. Um, the Chargers and the Bengals are struggling right now. Um, they're both 0-2. Joe Burrow doesn't look healthy. He doesn't look good. Um, Justin Herbert, he looks he looks decent, but they're they will lose it. Yeah, he's healthy. He looks he looks decent. They're just losing. Um nothing new. Yeah, yeah. Uh crazy. Now, which team do you uh, let me let me phrase it like this: Which team would you bet would get on track? Bengals. Yeah, I gotta say Chargers. Ooh. Okay. Just okay. because the only reason I would be with Bengals, but it's just I just feel like Joe Burrow a- injury is just weird. It just seems like it's lingering. I don't know how long he's gonna be hurt for. But but even when he's healthy, they'll yeah, be yeah. like on track. If I, <laughs> the if the I, Chargers, I, everybody healthy. They That's, just stink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Like they, I mean, the, the Bengals have a reason for why they're struggling. Like a pinpoint definite, hey, once this guy gets healthy, we're back in it. The charge is like, damn, I don't know what's going on, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we're doing everything. <laughs> it's the charge. I have no man. idea. It's, what? It's, well, it's, that's it's, it's been a co- I'll tell you why. Their coach is terrible. That's not it ain't even a coach. Though. They, they it, played a it, good it, one game. They played a it's good been a tweet. It's been a tweet circulating for years and years and years. There's never been a regular Chargers game. Like, they never. can't just never win, bro. It, they, like, it's not Justin Herbert inherited a curse. Maybe he yeah. is cursed. I don't know. Because a quarterback as talented as him being having a losing record is crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't make sense. He is pretty good. Like I understand why people say he's so good, because watching him, he's amazing. But they lose. Maybe, or maybe he might be a loser. I don't. You know how yeah, some quarterbacks make be winners. 
Yeah, I mean, because that's the thing. Like, I just don't like how every year they rank him among the best quarterbacks. He's always he doesn't deserve it. For like the past three years, if you look, watch TV, you would think that he's been to the AFC Championship at least once. You yeah. would think so, just the way they talk about him. You know what I mean? Or like, you would think he at least been to the second round of the playoffs mm-hmm. at least once. And I just feel like nobody made a big deal of him losing that playoff game. If any other quarterback lost the way he lost, huh? Yeah, but I mean on TV. I just mean the media. The media. I think we're, yeah, we're the smart. We're, we're the smart people. But I'm saying, if anybody else, if Lamar Jackson, I was gonna say Lamar, if Lamar, Lamar did that, loses that game. Oh my gosh, people are killing him. Nobody said anything about him. Like I didn't hear anything. So I just think it's I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um. You know they have a squad. I think they have they have good players on both sides of the ball. It's just very weird that they just don't win. Yeah, so, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. If I had to choose between who's going to make a comeback, um, damn, I, I'm gonna have to go with the Bengals. Yeah, I think they'll make a comeback. Honestly speaking, and I say the Bengals because I think, I think Joe, I think Joe shouldn't have knocked came back as early as he did. Even even Jamar Chase even told him, like, yo, if you need a rest, rest till week five. Because it's a 17-game season now. They can afford losses. The Bengals will always get it together, just like last year. And with the Chargers, it's like, I don't even know if it's just the coach. I think it's an organizational thing. I, 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 I don't – it's problems everywhere. And on top of that, you're right. I think they may be cursed because it's like – I feel like Herbert, he's 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 on track to having a similar career arc to Philip Philip Rivers, like literally, like Rivers literally had the same thing, like you know, threw a lot of passes, you know, had a, had amazing stats, Hall of Famer, probably first ballot, to be very honest with you. But it's just like, what did he have to show for it, you know? And Herbert is kind of trending towards that direction. He doesn't win games when he's supposed to. They always choke and. Do y'all really think they're going to make the playoffs this year? Well, my thing with Phillip Rivers and them, I feel like Phillip Rivers, from what I remember, you know, I was kind of young in his prime prime, but, like, from yeah. what I remember, I, I feel like Phillip Rivers used to make it to the playoffs, but he had yeah. Brady, he had Brady and Peyton Manning in his way. So, you know, he would lose to them. But like, Herbert. that makes sense. Herbert got Trevor. Herbert got Mahomes, got bro. Got, Herbert yo, got Mahomes yeah. and Trevor, Kilo, Trevor Lawrence, bro. Trevor Lawrence, uh, Trevor Lawrence and Burrow bro, and Josh bro, Allen bro. and Tua. And... Bro, he has a lot, bro. No. Bro. Oh, I was joking. I was joking. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, come on, bro. <laughs> if, you're gonna be list- if you're going to be constantly listed in the top five quarterbacks in the league, you, yeah. sh- you should – Win games when you're up 35 0. What were they up? Crazy? I don't know. It was wait, crazy, I mean, bro. I mean, yeah, that. Another thing is, another thing is, he, at least for, at least for Phillip Rivers, they made it to the playoffs and then he would play them and lose. Okay, that's one thing. If he's losing to Mahomes, you see Burrow losing to Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Burrow's losing to Mahomes. He's losing to the better quarterback. Yeah. He's not even making it to the playoffs. Last year was his first time in the playoffs. <laughs> It's the first time in the playoffs, and the the way they lose is crazy. So I, I don't know, man. He's just I, like, and I don't, you know, I can't, I can't in my heart of hearts say he's a bad quarterback because he's not a bad quarterback. Yeah. It's just weird. I just don't know. <laughs> I've never seen, I've never seen nothing like this before. Like, dude, nice, but his team just loses every year. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. The whole team, like their whole, like, like each Josh group. Stars. Each group has stars in it on a team. All these stars they just, get injured. All of them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. They had injuries last year. They had injuries. They got year. injuries this year. Well, I'll say every, every year. But it's just like their stars always are injured. Like it, it seems to happen to them like all the time. Even back with Phillip Rivers, it happens. It's like the Chargers just always, their stars always get injured. Yeah, I don't know. I'll go with the Bengals too. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Bengals. Yeah, I mean, the Bengals started off slow last year, and then Joe Burrow got healthy, and they won. I mean, no, well, no, they weren't healthy. He just got out of whatever he was in, and then they won. But I don't know. Like, I'm just worried about his his injury. I mean, I guess I guess the calf thing has me a little nervous because of the Aaron Rodgers calf thing. 
you know, I'm just a little cast got me a little scared th- this time around. You know what I'm saying? So I, I mean, I do hope he gets healthy, and I do agree that if he gets healthy, you know, then may I, I would bet on the Bengals. But I just, you know, I don't know. It's this injury thing is kind of weird. I feel like they're they're not really explaining what's going on. Nobody knew after the if he I don't know if he was injured after the first week, but he this was his first time mentioning it after this loss. So like it's just weird. It's just weird. So I don't know. I don't got good juju around the Bengals this season. This man said juju. No, no, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Word. Word. All right. Um we wanna do something. I'm gonna start something um with the show. At the end of each show, I'm gonna go around and give in our uh our rankings of position groups, you know, of course we got to start with QB. Um, let's start with Elijah. Elijah, tell me your top five quarterbacks through the first two weeks of the NFL season. Nice, nice, nice. So my top quarterback list, and this, and just to just to be clear, this isn't the best quarterback. is isn't because it'll just be Mahomes every week. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's just through the two weeks of football games that I have watched. The quarterbacks who have been playing the best, you know, regardless of win or loss, you know, they they could be losing games. It could be like a Harvard situation. They could be losing games, but he's spinning it. You know what I'm saying? Number one, Tua Tunga Valoa. Bruh's been going crazy. I got to give it to him. Uh, like, he's been playing amazing. Um, you know, that, him and uh, Mike McDaniel, they got, they got something figured out. I, I'm very excited for when Dan hops on the pod. Cause I'd be, I'd love to see what he thinks about this year's team. Tua hasn't been sacked this year, not one time. You know, they're getting the ball out of his hands quick. Um, and you know, if he keeps this play up, uh, I think the sky's the limit for the Dolphins. So, Tua Tungavalua, number one for me. Number two, <laughs> Brock Purdy. Crazy. I know that's like that's high for Brock Purdy, but I gotta be honest. Oh, I thought he left the job. Yeah, I thought he left too. <laughs> I gotta be say. honest. I, like I can't I can't disagree with Brock. Like he's bro, he hasn't lost it. And trust me, it hurts me to say because they was talking wild smack when we beat them. But every game he plays in straight through, they win the game. That's just that's just the fact of the matter. So I mean, I can't yeah. I mean, yeah. So, all right. Number three is going to be surprising. Number three, Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield been going crazy <laughs> for two weeks. Just for two weeks. Listen, the, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is the fun of the of the whole thing. Is just the fact that we need some music in the background. Baker, <laughs> Baker Mayfield <laughs> through two weeks. I'm just saying through two weeks. He's done what he needs to do. They've won the games. He's had pretty great numbers. He hasn't turned the ball over. I just think overall, Baker Mayfield has played very, very solid football. Um, y'all, y'all just y'all don't like y'all don't think they, they, they keep going, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Number four. Number four is I gotta give it to Patrick Mahomes. Because even though they lost their first game, I don't think – I mean, obviously, they lost their first game because of – but they lost their first game because of their receivers were making mistakes, not – yeah, they lost their first game because receivers were making mistakes. His second week wasn't crazy, but he put – every time you watch Patrick Mahomes, he's always – he always looks like he's the best on the field. And, you know, so far he's just been playing really good football. And then my last quarterback – this uh you know my top five has to be hurts me to say this has to be Dak Prescott just because he's played clean games. I didn't yeah. know. I thought she was gonna go somewhere else. You thought gonna say Jalen Hurts? No. Sam Howe? No, 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 no. Oh, no. I'll let you. I'll, I'll I'll say it in mine. Don't worry. I'll say it in mine. And my last I'll quarterback. Mine. My last quarterback. Ever. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, my last quarterback, Dak Prescott. I'll leave it at that because I don't want to talk about him anymore. All right. Uh, <laughs> who wants to go next? Throw it up in there. I ain't gonna lie, my list sound crazy. 
Go ahead. It's, week, it's, it's, it's week two. We, we get it. It's week two. It's week two. I got um, you. Um, so, of course, I think everybody's just probably going to have two and number one. I mean, it's kind of hard not to have number one, but um, I'm having number one. Uh, number two, we said it's regardless of winning or losing. And I'm going to go with Kirk Cousins. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to cap like, like, you know, when you play at the Eagles, like, I'm not going to cap like they, they, the, the Vikings sold him. Kirk Cousins won that game. The Vikings lost that game, to be very honest with you. Like, it was just turnover after turnover. He made some mistakes here and there, but yeah, so he's been doing this thing. He's second in passing only by seven yards to, um, to us. So he's been balling out. Um, they could have That's why he threw it so much, but go ahead. Okay, okay, you know, fair, fair enough. Um, after him, I'm I'm going to go with Matthew Stafford. I think he's been doing pretty well as well. Uh, and now, of course, I'm going to go with uh, Mahomes, just because he's Mahomes. I'm mm-hmm. like, he's That's been doing what he's having to do. And last, I'm going to go with Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence has been surprising me a lot. You know, he's definitely taking that next step as, uh, you know, the future of – you know, the next, you know, top quarterbacks in this league. I view him as the prince, you know. No, um, whatever, wavy hair, whatever. But that's that's my top five through the first two weeks. Some people that kind of, like, were just outside, you know, guys like Lamar, uh, whatever. But, yeah, that's my top five, though. We got the, uh, the same – well, the same first three. I ain't really ranking them, to be honest. This is out of order. But, yeah, Tua, Kirk – and uh, Stafford, I got them three. Uh, and then I have Brock Purdy, and then I have Lamar. See, Lamar, Lamar was I, I'm not even mad at it. I'm really not even mad at Lamar, bro. I chose between Lamar and Tre- and uh, Trevor. So I was la- Lamar was on my list, but last week, I mean, his first week wasn't all that. He yeah, was, that's the thing. He the Texans. That's why I was like, Man. yeah, you know, but, nice stuff. But man, he good. still looked good. You know, he do. Okay. Yeah, nah, last week, last, uh, especially get the Bengals, he was cooking. And yeah, he was cooking. Flowers, yeah. Flowers is nice. Yes. Yeah. Flowers is way better than Brown was. Hollywood yeah. Brown. Absolutely. He used to get me tight. All right. All right. All right. Top five. Um, Tua, Stafford, Golf, Kirk, Mahomes. Mm. Mm-hmm. See, golf has been doing pretty solid. I ain't going to cap. Mer- Jared, golf, Jared Goff had a really good game against the Seahawks. That yeah, game was live. He, um, he did have, like, a costly – he had a costly pick six. Mm-hmm. But – um, You you thought I was going to say Stafford? That's I thought you were going to say Stafford, yeah. No, nah, I would I thought never. you were going to say Stafford. That's crazy. Nothing, Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. There's nothing he can do to make my top five, brother. I, hey, the only reason why I have – I the only reason why I have Kirk – of uh, fourth is because it's like he has a lot of empty stats like yeah uh, like his a lot of the stats against like he had a good game against the eagles but it didn't it didn't matter it. yeah y'all were they were down and it's like it didn't really matter so i i gotta knock him for that but i, I, I won't say I won't, I won't say it didn't matter though because there was a point in the game where they were like a touchdown away it was close yeah. it was close but we held it down but i, I know she knew. i know she knew. they look bad yeah. Um, yeah. so <laughs> yeah, um, all right. Well, that brings us to the end of the show. You know, we got to do a round the horn, just touch on some things that we didn't get to in this episode. Dude. Um, Josh Allen bounced back against the Raiders. We touched on that a little bit. Lions Seahawks game was really good, and the Texans and the Colts. They had a, a showcase of the rookie CJ Shroud versus Anthony Richardson. Did anybody get to see some highlights? Or have any impressions on the two rookies? I no. Oh, um, god dang! <laughs> Nobody cares about the rookies. Exactly. I was like, I watched a little bit of that game. That game was. Yeah, I, was cool. I know they messed up my parlay. That's all I know. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Richardson need to know how to protect his body, bro. Like, yeah. Like, dang! I think he's in what concussion protocol. Oh, he got hurt. He got hurt last week too, bro. You and could Trevor see Lawrence. that. You could see that happen in week one, bro. They. They came out in some formation. I was like, "Is that the wishbone?" 
What is it? <laughs> they have no receivers out wide, bro. I was like, man, what is going on right ain't, now? Ain't Sykin be thinking these receivers are made out of steel, bro. He, he, right. man, he, he said all the receivers come on the sideline. He was <laughs> still more offensive lineman because we just gonna hike it and give it to Anthony Richardson. I was like, this he's on the he's on a worse Cam Newton trajectory. He is yeah. not gonna be done. He's I've done. never seen that. I've never seen that. That formation can't even be used on Madden, bro. Like, <laughs> you have to have some receive. There was no receivers out there. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, bro. He need to chill. Yeah, no. He's yeah. He did a QB power <laughs> <laughs> with no and the, and the oh the OC let you know that I'm running quarterback. No receivers. Extra offensive linemen. All tight ends. Yeah, we about to run this. Like that's what? crazy. You're trying to get him killed. Yeah, bro. But he's talented, though. He, I think yeah. he is talented. Yeah. All right. Uh, this has come to the end of the show. Uh, thanks, Mike, for being on the show. Um, giving that Washington energy, you know, thanks you need some me. of that. I need some hope up here, bro. I be, you know, what I'm saying dealing with haters. Come on, bro. I need some backup. You feel me, man? Yeah, listen, I'm gonna, appreciate it, Mike. I'm gonna recruit all my Eagles fans. Nah, we don't need you to do that. On the pod yeah, we don't need you to do that. Nah, we don't need you. Man, because if they gonna act the, act like the way Mike was acting after two and zero, bro, <laughs> it said Super Bowl. Hey, we need to have a special when we play y'all. That's all I know. That's all I know. He said, he, he I said live people. stream, live stream. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I feel like us losing to y'all hurt more than us losing the Super Bowl because they're just the there's no that, that's no, that's OD. That is OD. No, nah, because Commanders fans are the most annoying, <laughs> bro. That is Wait, OD. Bro, I got text, people was texting me all night, bro. Just all night, yeah. <laughs> you already know. I yeah. said, bro, this is like week six, bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, but any uh, last words before we get out of here? Well, I was fly, baby. Super Bowl bound, baby. This year. You can't both be Mike, going to the Super Bowl. That's not how Mike, it works. Yeah, Mike, y'all won't have a chance. I wanted to tell them that, though. But, Mike, <laughs> y'all won't have a chance to go to the Super Bowl because it's going to be E-A-G-L-E. All right. We got to go. Thank you, guys.